Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, I'm Quick Fury, and this is uh, part two of our Poland into PLC campaign. Um, last video, we formed the mini blob here, and uh, we got resituated with getting our factories up and running, and um, we got through my little mini crisis where I freaked out and may or may not have jumped the gun on this stuff, but we will never know now if we got screwed truly or I just should have been more patient. Um, so yes, this session we're going to go ahead and uh, get this rolling and uh, we're going to have to start going through some of the important things the Commonwealth comes together. You, Yes, we will stand united, selecting a Prime Minister. Ooh. Actually, this is probably something really important. I don't know what's going to happen yet. Move the signature, a new age. Oh, we gotta pause for a second. Let's go through this one first. Uh, move the signature, a new age begins. We gain some stability and political power. Cool. And selecting a prime minister. Um, index votes is the only one we need, or we go for let the people vote for a prime minister. Now, I don't know what that changes. Uh, let me see. I don't know. Uh, oh, up here probably. It might have something to do. Nope, not with that. Not with that. Not with that. Um, I don't know if this question has anything to do with the restrictions on anything here. I don't think so. So we're going to go ahead and Min Dog's vote is the only one we need, which it is. back up again. We're probably going to get like a million events in the meantime. We'll go ahead and let this one tick through. We'll go ahead and train you guys up. Oh, that's a lag spike. All right. Oh, we got changed. Uh, oh, there we are. Infantry. We have no support equipment. That's okay. The Reichsbund's question. Let's pause. Let's pause. Reichsbach. Reichsbach. Let's see. We still need German production. That's good. Or we can get out of that. Um. Let's see. This is probably going to determine quite a few things. Ooh, new Prime Minister. Janus Radzvel. Um. So it seems to be these all give exactly the same thing. Let's go for Lithuania. Yeah, let's, let's be spicy. The Lithuanian historian. Yes. I like this. Okay, so we can select one of these things. Actually, this opens up all that stuff now, I guess. Um, so if we go with this, I guess we this opens up this one. And we don't get that one because we're not syndicist. Syndicist. So we can either go with this one or go with this one. Well, yeah, I think you, I mean, why would you just not stick with Germany? I mean, there's no point in not, I mean, we get the, we get the bonus here, which reduces land doctrine research time. Um, we get the Kaiser Wilhelm Society. Is that the, I'm guessing that's tech cost or something. Possibly. Uh, reserve the Polish partitions. Gains expansionism. Strike at the Russians. Gains oh, oh, wow, that's interesting. Strike towards Galicia. Ooh, yeah, we're going to stay with that German protection, bro. All right, so let's go ahead and we could do the capitals first for a focus, or we can do some infrastructure. So we can build up the Polish infrastructure, or we can build up the Lithuanian infrastructure. So each of these have different branches. And I'm not ticking forward because these are, uh, it has been a while since I looked through these things, and I want you guys to get a nice good look on them. So if we go with the Polish infrastructure, we can get the corporate monopoly, so that's 50% of construction technology uh, for one use. Uh, we also get infrastructure additions for these provinces states sorry states oh we get some we get some more steel that can be good so we get a little steel 
that's important. Or Lithuanian infrastructure, where we get a build slot and infrastructure there. It's the same thing there. Oh, actually, we get the same thing. We get the same thing. Oh, this only gets it in two. This there's only two states there. So we get two building slots and two infrastructure total, whereas this one we get six and six, okay. So we get synthetic resources, new urban districts. So we get two civilian factories and two build slots. Um, and then we get oil. Ooh, I don't know what to do. Oh, it might be better if I would go with the Lithuanian infrastructure. I mean, yes, the steel is important, but, but, I mean, steel's one thing. Oil is a completely other thing, plus the fact we get these sexy civilian factories. And then we do get lots of crossovers. I mean, I'm probably going to go with... Yeah, we do need to get our we need to get our our infrastructure on track first, a little bit at least. Um, I want to go. I think we'll go Lithuanian infrastructure, and then we'll go to the new urban districts just to get a couple more civilian factories, and that will be good, I guess. I mean, oh, I don't know, because I mean we're gonna get a lot of this stuff down here, and mm, maybe just getting the steel is gonna be better at first. Oh, this is just it's I don't know what to do. Mm, no, the steel, the steel, it's 16 steel, which is good. We're going to get two, three, four, five, we're going to get five civilian factories, a bunch of military factories. We don't really need those two, and the oil would be nice, but we're, we're not going to make use of that much at first. So we'll do Polish infrastructure. Screw it. Let's go. A head of the army. Oh, no, we're losing stuff. Okay, so that's a slight improvement. The head of the army, who we want. Um, we gain manpower, we gain manpower, manpower, and manpower. Let's go maneuver, let's do fire support. Oh, okay, that's nice. We are very low on support equipment at the moment. Very, very low. I guess we can deploy some planes. Get these guys set back up again, 42nd time. All right, so we got some planes up, which is nice. And what else we got going on here? We're still building stuff. Oh, what the hell just happened there? We had more civilian factories and then we lost a couple. Oh, it's because of something here. Because we had six. We had six and then we lost them. Why are we losing? No. Transmission. Dutch Oxen. I can't pronounce that name. I'm just going to stop now before I embarrass myself anymore. We do have some nice manpower. 16 million pop. Well, that's good. That gives us something to work with. A lot more though. It's definitely a lot more than uh, we had as the Pacific states. That's for sure. Though I wish we had the resources that they do. I'll have that check it out in six months after everything implodes to see what's going on over there. It's gonna be quite good. So after Polish infrastructure. Um, we could go ahead and uh, go down through here, or go through here to here to get the uh, the extra couple civilian factories. Let's look at these. So yeah, we can we can keep the Warsaw as the capital, which will change certain things. A new capital will change certain things as well. New capital could be good. Vilnius as a new capital. So these they're gonna have negative consequences depending on if we go to the right or to the left. We'll go in the middle, building the new capital. Alright, the new capital will be selected before it can be approved. Centralizing power. Okay. 
International spirit, ba 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 ba. Okay, political cost, uh, political power, sorry. Base war support, base stability. And then this will probably make things good. It better ish, whatever. Rex, reg, wait, what is that? Rex Regnat et non gubernat. It is that's, I mean, that's, I don't know what that is. Okay, whatever. I just I don't know. It's something interesting. Uh, we can. Uh, what is our ideology, anyways? So we are technically a social conservative. So we should probably uh, change that. We should probably yeah invest the. I mean, we're in negative political power. Who cares a crap at this point? But to boost up our party popularity, which will be very handy. Um, language question. The government will be bilingual. Um, we're going to be bilingual. We'll be a bilingual people. Yes. Um, I guess we'll just go ahead and do international railways and we'll get the combined infrastructure. Absolute monarch. Oh yeah, this is going to, and then this stuff will can give us the ability of uh, setting some stuff up for Rizzles. Yeah, we have a lot of options to choose from. Basic Air Force stuff. I mean, when it comes to making big decisions, I'll definitely be a little bit more paying attention. But I think we're gonna kind of we're gonna go here, and then uh, we'll we'll select. Um, a new capital, I guess, and then we'll kind of we'll just we'll bounce around a little bit, try to balance it out. What is this? Division belongs to an army, but has no orders. You do have orders. You are supposed to drill. You're supposed to be drilling. And we're gonna stop you though, because I'm burning equipment that I do not have. Oh, I'm burning equipment hard that I do have, as well. Oof. Let's not and say we did. Voldemar's nationalist. He's barely worth. What is this? Oh come on! No, stop losing stability and political power. Ah, rage! All the rage, all the rage right now. I wonder though. What are some of the things that we can get? What can we get depending on the thing? Okay, we got the fleets. I'm not worried about that. I'll stop lagging, you bastard. Oh no. Yep, there it goes again. Back to being sapped on everything. It's not easy being a pole in this game at the moment. Now, yeah, it looks like our big thing is if we had went with a Commonwealth stands alone, diplomatic offices, we could have went with the greater. Wait, ooh, no, we can go this way actually. Oh, it's cross cross. That's right. It has a dot 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 sir. So we can go with the reverse of Polish partitions and get to strike at the Russians and strike towards Galicia. Okay, or we got the greater Commonwealth, and we are fully independent. And we can get the Ruthenian referendum. Uh, okay, so I'm guessing that that gives us the ability of getting. There's a rump of land here that I think we're supposed to get. I just don't remember. It might be this area. Let me see. Maybe it has some more uh, thingies. To just like upswing in Polish Lunar National, is that an effect in the Ruthenia small world of Midorni? Mutual border. I think it is just this little bit here. I don't think it's any more. I think it's just this little bit. But if it's Bretska, Bretska, I think it's Bretska is what that is. Um, I will gladly take that. Nice little, uh, a nice little thing. To have, and then we get the Galatian purchase.
I'm not saying it out loud because I'm just kind of assuming that you're reading it with me. I'm trying to give you guys lots of time to read that. So I don't know if if we get everything here, that would be a huge boon. Oh man, I just don't know. Uh, see, that could be good. See, but the problem that I'm thinking is, if we go to this, we all know the AI likes to say no, kiss my ass. And I'm pretty sure that if we tried to do the peaceful way, they're gonna tell us to kiss their ass and then we're gonna be back to square one. Then we gotta like make claims, whereas we go here, we get Ganex War Rolls. Ooh, I like this all. I do like it. I like it a lot. And then what I do like more right now is some more coffee. Oh god, I keep I'm just not used to this decision button being here. I keep clicking here thinking that's a research. I should see the javelin the 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 gavel and just be like, oh my god, I almost called it a javelin, that is sad. The gavel, and be like, that is not research, sir. That is a judge kicking you in the face. What are we doing on our <laughs> production? Mmm, about where it should be. No efficiency at all. I don't need that right now. What I really need is a second one of those right there okay hmm all right so besides the national focus depending on which way we go there's a chance we can get a nice bit of land right here one way or another um, now we're going to side with Germany. We're going to have to fight people with them, which is fine. We have many years, we have a few more years to get ready for that. So we're not going to be no Russia blob, but we will provide as many of the best and highest trained pullet troops that money can buy. And in this case, it will be free because money doesn't exist in this game, which I think it should. This game would be so much better if they added things like religion, maybe? No, nah, I don't know if you can really add religion into this game at this point. I mean, I think, considering the fact of there's only like, well, in this one, it's a little different, but in the normal game, there's like, what, 50 countries or something like that? Some weird low number? I mean, you got Protestant, you got Catholic, you got Orthodox, and then you got this Islam, and then, you know, but there's just not a lot of countries to really take advantage of that, I think, especially here in Europe, because it's just, you know, if there's more nations, it makes it a little bit more intricate, but what they could implement that I think they should is economy. If they added an economy to where you need to make money, like an EU4, to support your military, I think this would be a game changer completely. Like, I think it'll help a lot. You know, it make it. I think it'll make it a. It make it one more realistic and stuff. And then, you know, it could really help put the strains on, on countries and in big war in the big war because you know multiplayer. What happens a lot of times is you know Britain's just like we have infinite planes and all the money in the world because it doesn't exist and we're going to crash down on you Germany with twenty thousand bombers. But if you make it to where you have to have a good economy making money to purchase those planes, that could really change it a little bit, you know? Especially if it's Britain and their empire is being taken over by Japan early on or something before the United States joins in. Oh, black spike, sorry. You know, that could change things. I mean, I could be talking on my ass, but I think it'd be something really cool to see. I think it'll help a lot. Um... I don't remember, weren't they supposed to add a resource or something? I mean, I don't know if it's in the Kaiserreich mod. I mean, it might be, but I'm not sure. I thought I read something somewhere they were supposed to add a new resource. Maybe they didn't do it yet, or I missed it, and they, they get canceled it. But I thought they were going to add, like, a grain or a food thing. 
I thought hang on trades all the trade nope not there okay and oh yeah, they have oh they imploded early oh my okay so we got the thing and we're going to go for this one get some more factories we're still at a insanely ridiculous 1262 days to build a factory that's okay it's taking time now to build factories but it'll be worth it in the long run and if we can just get out of this awful um, low stability and all this civilian economy crap I mean getting into partial mobilization would be amazing but we just don't have any political power mm, yes you have no power here now this will give me political power there your political power costs will be reduced. So, I mean, these things could be what we might need to go to is new capital first, like we talked about, and get some of that political power. We can get political power by still going stick with Germany and gain gain base for support, gain base at the Pacific States of America. Okay. So, these could be good things. These could be good things. I think, uh, yeah, we should definitely focus on trying to get thing, up, things up to making... Uh, give me a second. Gain political power. Whew, wow, I had to reach for that one. Now what can we do here? Mm, ooh, 2.5% research reduction. And we get decryption. That one. That believe it or not, daily political power gain is actually pretty good right now. I would take that if I had the political power to do so. Oh, wow. So he adds political power. Okay. Silent lawyers gain you political power. I do like all these things they have added in the Kaiser Reich. Like over the base game, Kaiser Reich is just so, it's a lot more fun because it's just all the, the unique stuff that happens. You know, it's no two games are, it's almost like EU Forest where almost, where kind of like no two games are really the same because the events aren't, like some of the other events aren't set. Like they can all spawn differently. I mean, look at this one. In that Pacific State game I played, New England did not form. Whereas in this one, it did. It's And it's like, I love seeing these kinds of things happen. I have no idea what's going to happen in the United States in this one. I'll oh, see, that's not cool. Look what happened here. We didn't get... They, no, we got... I'm definitely doing another PSA game. Or just another game in the United States area again. Because we did not get... We got dicked last time compared to this one. Look at that. They still got Mexico. Once they just haven't gotten to their thing to um, uh, switch. Which is possible. And it's completely possible. All right, I will let this tick out to the beginning of the new year, and I think it'll be a nice spot to end this uh, to video this set video on because uh, we're starting to get close to time. Mm. Oh, side thing, um, I've been trying to do a lot of work on making my sound um, my sound capture better. I'm trying to eliminate that slight static in the background. I think I've been making improvements with changing like which audio recording, which audio capture programs I'm using, um, and trying to adjust things there. Um, I'm trying to capture at like lower level. I'm trying to capture at a high level and then reduce it down and stuff to try to, you know, reduce the static in an essence. And I'm also trying to work on trying to, you know, adjust the equalizer settings to really, you know. Uh, kind of help with that I might try to do a it's called like a I don't know what it is but it basically I'm, I'm working on it 
and I'm trying to make improvements. I think I've noticed some improvement. It sounds a little bit more stable overall. There are still some things that can be improved on, but we will, I'll get us there, you know, because I want to try to make these videos as high quality as possible. Because no one wants to listen to the sound of a bit very lower than that, you know, in the background of a video sometimes. I mean, I don't know. Just trying to do the best I can for you guys. I'm gonna stop babbling now. And we're almost ticked over to the new year. Happy New Year! War is not here yet, but it is coming! War is coming! That's right, this is December. Hey, nice, we got the radio thing. Political power, give me that. Yes! And we are ticked over. Okay. We'll go ahead and pause this here and because um, we're just about out of time um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and again if you haven't checked out my channel feel free to and subscribe so you can keep up to date with all of my E4 and Kaiser Ike and Stellaris and all the other games that I plan on trying to do for you guys you know keep up to date with them when they come out I'm trying to release a video every day um, I would like to increase that to two a day um, which I which will give you guys a nice amount of content to uh, to see, and um, please leave uh, any comments that you guys want. You know, any suggestions, things you want to see, things that I'm derping on in this, whatever. Make fun of me, don't care. But um, I hope you enjoyed everything, and I will catch you on the next one.